G'day, my name's Damien Armstrong and we're here at Alice Springs Desert Park. We're at an enclosure called Dingo Territory and we have two dingoes in here and, uh, and they're ambassadors to their species and it's important to point out that, uh, that we need ambassadors because they are actually a threatened species. Part of the threats to the species are persecution from humans, which is one of the greatest factors in animal extinctions in the world. And also, these animals are at risk of hybridization with wild dogs. Wild dogs are genetically and behaviorally different to dingoes, but unfortunately, they're closely re related enough as species to produce viable offspring, which means if a wild dog infiltrates a dingo pack, gains breeding rights over that pack, the offspring result in wild dog, not dingo. So as a pure species, they are actually under threat. Dogs are uh, actually different to other types of wild canines. Dingoes and wolves, being totally wild, uh, have their natural breeding cycle of once a year. Domesticated dogs have changed genetically and behaviorally. So once those uh, domesticated dogs go wild, it's a wild dog. It has the ability to breed twice a year. And behaviorally, it also has uh, given up its fear of humans, whereas a wild canine will actually recognize a human as being a larger predator, being a larger mammal, and, and of course then shy away from us. So these, uh, these different adaptations lead them to different behavior, different breeding patterns, and also in the way they hunt. Uh, a native canine will have a varied diet, being an apex predator, whereas feral predators often specialize in prey source, which can result in species extinctions.